guys, happy Easter. It's Easter Sunday, it's like 4.30 in the afternoon. And my natural hair color is coming out. It's pretty silver. Yeah, anyway, it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Um, anyway, I'm feeding the deer some corn, cut out a bunch of new zombies, did some computer work, got another roll, ro no, roll. I got another load of sourdough rolls in the oven, some more um, sourdough starter disc discard instead of throwing it out, which I just really don't have the heart to do. Um, I've been making bread um, or rolls or something with it. Now, I started my st starter a week ago. You need to really feed it every single day for two weeks when you first get started, which I'm doing. I haven't had a sourdough starter in like a million years, it feels like. Anyway, after that, I can put it in the fridge and just feed it once a week. But for right now, I have a lot of discard. And yeah, that's the thing. If I can find some rye flour, I might try making sourdough rye bread because that's the thing. I also got a recipe, two recipes from my cousin in California. She and her mom and a bunch of my cousins down there, they're all, we're all cooking. We're all doing the same. We're Italian. So we cook when we're stressed. Um, she, I got a recipe for sourdough crackers and sourdough waffles. So we'll be trying that, I think, this week. We'll find out what ha how, how, how it works. I'll let you know. I'll put the recipe links in the description below so you all can try it. I'll also include one for making your own sourdough starter and basic bread and all of that. I use um, some organic honey, as I've stated before, instead of uh, sugar for a friend who's a beekeeper. Um, so that's a thing. Use what sweetener you want, but the honey seems to be working well for me and I love the way it tastes. So as does the husband because he was making sandwiches with the homemade bread earlier. Anyway, I'm going to feed the deer and then go check on my rolls and I'll be back. Those are two little duck friends. I bet you they have a nest there somewhere because that's where we saw them yesterday. Uh, Good Monday morning, everybody. Hopefully you can hear me, but I guess I'll find out in editing. Anyway, it is Monday, April 13th. It is 11.30 in the morning. I'm all suited up. I've got to go pick up an order for some supplies. I'm literally out of uh, at Michael's. You, you order it online, you drive up, you pick it up, you don't get out of the car. Anyway, I don't know how this is going to work exactly, but I guess we'll find out. Crazy times, right? In the meantime, I'm sporting my new head tube. It's covered in skulls. Uh, it's a little more comfortable than the mask. It's more comfortable than the mask, but does the job. It's double layered. And so anyway, uh, I'm not going to pretend I'm not a little scared to leave the house, but I need some supplies. I'm literally running out of stuff. I never thought that was possible, but anyway, ay, ay, ay. all right, I'll be back. Okay. That was remarkably easy and strange all at the same time. <laughs> but I've disinfected the bag already with some wipes and it's right here. The wipes are on the floor. I'll clean that up and spray on everything when I get home. <sighs> Very strange, but they did have everything I needed in stock, so that's all good. Anyway, let's go home now. I'll be back. I can't, my blood pressure can't take all this stress of being outside the house. Really can't. Okay. So lunch has been had, sourdough starter has been fed. Um, this is week two on the starter to start a new starter. Usually you have to feed it for two weeks straight every day to get it really good and sour. Um, so we're in week two. <clears throat> I did discard some of the starter today because I've got half a loaf of bread in the fridge and a whole bunch of rolls and I really just don't feel like making any bread today. So um, yeah. 
need to eat up what we have before I try making more. I do think I might want to try sourdough rye, but I need to try to find rye flour, so that might be a thing. Um, in today's uncertain times, it's hard to find ingredients. Anyway, Lily wants to go out, so we'll let her out. I had lunch, fed the starter, like I said, and so I'm gonna head back upstairs now. I've gotta edit this last week's vlog to air this week. So I'm gonna work on that, and then hopefully the piece of fabric I was distressing a little bit is dry. I was putting some ink and stuff on it um, to just make it look a little old and worn. Hopefully it's dry, because I wanna finish the stitching project, so. We'll see, I'll be back. Good morning, Tuesday morning, April 14th. Um, it's an attractive look, isn't it? <laughs> it's just before eight o'clock. I still haven't fixed my clock in the car yet. Anyway, I am geared up because I have to go to the grocery store. It's the first time to the store by myself since this whole thing started. Fun fact. So, but we need groceries and I need to drop off some masks to be shipped to somebody in need, a nurse in Wyoming, a carer in Wyoming, and I gotta get that done. And everybody else is busy. I can't always rely on them to do shit for me. All right, that's getting old fast. So I'm gonna go out and go get it done. Oh, bright light. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's better. Okay. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna go get it done and get the package dropped off, get the groceries shopped for. I don't know when I'm gonna be able to find. I should have left probably an hour ago, but I really, really needed some coffee. There's a lot going on right now um, at the house. I didn't get to bed till late again. The kids are in the midst of remodeling their house. So things are a hive of activity. We are keeping social distance as much as we can while still trying to get their house work done. But yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Anyway, let's go get it done and see what we can find and see what kind of substitutions I need to make because I can't find stuff. I don't know, but we'll find out. I'll be back.
sending out a lot of masks right now to friends and family. I try to put them in the whoop, whoop, the box here if I can. I had one this morning while I was out that I, there was it was too big, too many masks. I had to go drop it off. So I did it while I was suited up um, to be in the public. But it seems like all I do right now is make masks and send masks out. I have some people sending me elastic because of course I've ordered some, but it's not in yet. I don't, I don't know when it's coming. Um, and you know, it's just, I don't mind being home, but the stress of the world situation is starting to get to the whole family. <clears throat> Bob thought an envelope that came was, uh, you know, one of those random pre-approved credit card things that we don't want, we don't need. Uh, so he shredded it and then afterwards realized it was our insurance um, card renewal. So I had to reorder that, <laughs> new cards. Yep, my Subaru has a recall, airbag recall, which I've put off doing. And the dealership keeps emailing me, emailing me. Um, so I finally contacted them and they have a, because of the world situation, they will come pick the car up for me, fix it and bring it back. So, yay. Um, so that's gonna happen. I don't know. I just, you know, I've gotten to where I don't wash my hair every day. I didn't ever get a shower this morning cause I got, just got dressed first thing this morning and went off to the store. Not that I'm dirty or smelling or anything, but it's just weird and different. So yeah, <laughs> it's just, I did get another zombie doll made. And so this is Mr. Stay Safe. And um, his tagline is gonna be, are you feeling right now like there's not enough masks or protective gear or bubble wrap you can wrap yourself and your family in to feel like you stay safe or are gonna stay safe? Mr. Stay Safe gets you. And uh, yeah, got a couple more positive affirmations on my uh, positive affirmation doll and got my daily drawings done. It's, I don't know, 4.30, 4, I don't know, it's after four o'clock. Let's see. I have to spray those shoes with Lysol. Somebody remind me. 4.29, yeah, 4.30. So I'm gonna sit and have some more water, watch a little YouTube, and then I'm gonna get working on dinner because I'm the family cook these days. So, you know, what are you gonna do? All right, that's it, I'll be back. Hey guys, so we're headed out for our evening's walk. Lily has already left her deposit and Bob has gone to dispose of said it deposit. I have to sneeze, hold on. Allergy season, wow. All right, sit down. I didn't tell you to get up. Uh, anyway, we're going to go head out on our walk. I'm going to see what pretty things I can get pictures of, and I'll be back. So jump, leap, or hop. I think I'm too old to jump, leap, or hop. It's a big game. They put a lot of things. Dear, I don't remember synonym from it, antonym from noun from anything. Words that are similar to each other. Oh, uh, yeah. Antonyms are opposites, like hot, cold. It's too long ago. My brain forgot. Hop, jump, leap. Hop, jump, and leap. Those are Those synonyms. Synony in I my opinion. I've forgotten most of English class. It was too long ago. That was, uh, yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, very long. Back in the 60s? <laughs> 70s? 70, somewhere in there. So, two days in a row, I'm in the car. Yes, yes I am. I couldn't find some things yesterday at the store so uh, that I went to and the uh, rest of the household needs liquor. I don't drink, but, um, and they weren't open when I went by. So I'm gonna go actually do the liquor store first thing this morning. And then I'm gonna go try to find a couple of things that I couldn't find yesterday. And I may just go out driving around, to be honest. This whole thing is, you know, of course, making all of us stir crazy. So yeah, I have one of my head tubes with me today in lieu of a, a traditional face mask. And 
we're gonna just go get it done. I have my fresh bag of Clark swipes. I've got some, some sticks to push buttons with. Hand sanitizer. And I do have gloves in the car if I need them. So yeah, let's go get it done. I'll be back. You might hear the ring in the background and you might hear Lily barking in the background. It's because the pest control people are here and she's in her crate and she's not happy about it. <laughs> and there's strangers in her yard. She doesn't like it. <laughs> I haven't told her yet. She doesn't actually live here, but you know. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I do want to say I didn't find any rye flour this morning, as I think I said to you all already. But this whole search for ingredients and getting back to cooking at least some things and baking and you know, has led me to some fabulous um, finds of um, the smaller, lesser frequented markets. And I just found a local Oregon um, flour mill not too far from me that I can actually order flour from and have it sent to me. And the shipping is not ridiculous. It's a reasonable cost on the shipping. Um, and they have it in stock. I mean, yeah. So, you know, I think buy local, stay local. I mean, you know, um, visit your mom and pop shops. Visit those those stores that you wouldn't normally. I know we found ingredients for some things and some really good food at the local Asian market, at the natural grocery stores. Um, so check them out. You know, you're going to maybe find what you need there rather than the big box stores, at least for right now. Nothing wrong with a good big box store, but sometimes you need to fit, uh, visit the mom and pops too. It's a good thing. All right, I'll be back. Did you, meet, did you get a picture of me out, Scotchin? No. Oh, okay. Hey guys, we are out getting some steps in while it's still light and bright out. I spent the afternoon working on another slow stitch project and this one's lemon inspired. I'll put a picture of it as it is right now here somewhere not done yet but by any stretch but yeah it's pretty cool i'm liking the process a lot so anyway we're gonna go get some steps in and i think tonight if i can i'm gonna try to read my next gene haynes watercolor book and yeah that's what's on my agenda right now what about you keeping busy during the quarantine stay in place stay at home. I don't know what you want to call it, but anyways, I hope so. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday morning, April 16th, I think. I think. Anyway, I'm playing chief cook and bottle washer again. <laughs> I've been doing that all week um, and portioning out some leftovers for meals for Bob and I for the freezer. And, um, um, these are just leftovers from the last couple of days, and um, I've got some chicken here, so I'm going to cut that up also. I think Bob's going to eat some of it for lunch, so I'm going to cut it up so he can make chicken salad. And um, I ordered some more silk buttonhole twist on Etsy. I'm really enjoying working with it. I had a box of vintage sewing stuff, some of which was from my grandmother, and there were some vintage buttonhole twist in there, and love working with it. It's kind of hard to find new, um, even if the shops were open right now, which they're not. Um, and if you look online, it's like really hard to find. Um, but Etsy has a number of sellers who have lots of vintage buttonhole twists. So I've ordered some of that and um, some felt, felt. I did order felt, but not felt. Uh, wool and other things to work with my slow stitching. And so I will link some of my favorite sellers that I'm enjoying the products down below for you. Right now, I'm gonna cut up my chicken and uh, get that done so I can get on to other fun things like laundry. All right, I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm working on laundry downstairs, half and all day, but I got another slow stitching project done. My lemon uh, piece is all done. Turned out so cute. Um, and I am loving it so much that I've rearranged a few things in the art room so that I can have most of my um, stitching supplies 
am concentrated in one space over here by the sewing machine. So I already had my embroidery floss here and some doll making supplies here, which I've rearranged a little bit. Um, there's still doll making supplies there, but because I do the occasional Dodie doll or voodoo doll or something like that. Voodoo doll, zombie doll. Um, but then I added a couple of baskets of um, fabric that I want to set aside just for doing slow stitching and things. So that's how much I'm liking it. So anyway, I've got to put these empty baskets away. I didn't really get rid of anything um, except for some paint chips. Uh, and I might put those in the box for um, Project Pan Art Supply Style and just to um, share in that video that I'm getting rid of them. I also figured out there was a YouTube video on how to do this leaf stitch. I figured it out. Um, I may share it in a future little video that I put um, over in YouTube. I haven't decided yet, but I did figure it out. And it's pretty cool. I'll be using it in future projects, I think. Anyway, I'm going to clean up some stuff in here. And I have to add a word to my uh, positive affirmation doll. And then I need to go downstairs and start dinner. So I better get to it. I'll be back. We are headed out for this evening's walk. Lily has already done her business. We didn't get even a block from the house. So Bob's walked back to go dispose of the items in question. <laughs> Um, have I expressed how much I'm really enjoying slow stitching lately? I am really uh, going back to my roots with embroidery, my grandmother, my dad's mom. Yeah, it's br bringing back good memories and I'm enjoying the process. And who knew I'm probably the last one on the planet to discover silk buttonhole twist. I had a couple of old sewing boxes in my art room, one of which is my grandmother's. In a cup, both of them, there was some silk buttonhole twists. I've been using it. That stuff's a joy to stitch with. Holy cow. So now looking for vintage thread, silk thread is going to be on my thing that I'm going to be doing whenever I can get back to going thrifting. But yeah, that's really cool. So if you'd like to see a video on slow stitching and my take on it, let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, we're gonna go get some steps in and I'll be back. Oh, oh wow. That's kind of deep. Yeah. Deep hole, big hole. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> it's Friday morning, April 16th, I think. I, think, I don't know. Anyway, it's Friday. It's 9.22 a.m. I already said to you all I couldn't get into a lot of what was going on this week, but this week was a stressful week. The kids are doing some reno at their house they just bought. They've been living with us for a while, for those that don't know. And um, they're doing some reno they need to do before they can move in. And there are people helping them. And we're all trying to do get what needs to be done done while maintaining social distance, which is challenging. And I'm in charge of feeding and watering the horde. <laughs> so while trying to maintain social distance. So I've been out. This is gonna be my third trip to the grocery store this week. I keep thinking I have enough food and I keep running out of things, so I'm off to the shops again, hopefully just one. Um, my allergies are still at it, and so I have a cough drop in my mouth. I've got one of my head tubes. You like this one? It matches my face mask that I have with the same similar print. Anyway, so I've got my head tube on, and I think I'm ready to go. Let's go see. Hopefully they have most of what I need, or they have something I can substitute. Oh, my hair is caught in. So cross your fingers. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it's Saturday, April 18th. I said yesterday was the 16th. It wasn't, it was the 17th. Today is April 18th, my mom's birthday. So everybody say happy birthday to mom. It's just Lily and I today. 
everybody else is over at the kids' house working on getting it ready for them to move in. Things have been pretty stressful this last week in case you didn't get a clue already. Okay. Hey guys, I am, I think I'm gonna close the vlog now. It is Saturday afternoon. Bean, there she is. Lily, Lily Bean is in my seat. She likes to sit there when I'm not there. Anyway, I got another zombie apocalypse pandemic doll done. Uh, this is Miss uh, Take Miss Taken Faith. If you want the explanation for the name, look me up on social media. My link's in the description below. I post daily on Instagram and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, the zombie apocalypse pandemic dolls are my way of dealing with the current worldwide situation and how I'm feeling about it, to be honest. Some people love them, some people hate them. Whichever genre or direction you're in regarding the dolls, that's cool, <laughs> but they're my way of dealing with what's going on. Anyway, I got another one done. I'm gonna feed my sourdough starter. I think tomorrow, I'm gonna toss the excess, but I think tomorrow instead of tossing the excess, I'm gonna make some sourdough crackers. I do have a recipe and I haven't made it yet. So I think I'll do that tomorrow. Um, we got a load of rags in the washing machine. I need my daughter to take her stuff out of the dryer so that I can dry them. Um, I got a bunch of other stuff done upstairs and questions answered and the floors are clean, the kitchen is clean again. <laughs> so anyway, um, I am going to feed the sourdough starter, then I'm going to sit and relax and watch some YouTube because I think it's time. Maybe. I also did my daily drawings already, but anyway. Uh, that's it for this week. I hope you all are staying safe, staying healthy, and staying creative. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. I do have a couple of different art Facebook groups, um, which you can also uh, tag me in posts over there and uh, share your work. I'd love to see it. Uh, ask me questions, stuff like that. I will link them both in the description below, A Life of Art and Self-Expression and My Creative Year, both of which have daily art prompts or drawing prompts in them. Um, and we have video shares that go on over in My Creative Year also. So anyway, um, what else? I'll put any relevant links down in the description below. Uh, I'm gonna take a deep breath and we will get past this craziness with this current worldwide situation and I have faith in that it's not mistaken faith but it's faith there's a hint all right anyway that's it for today I think don't forget to um go out and have a great day do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later bye guys